Telecommunications in Uruguay includes radio, television, telephones, and the Internet. Topic: Radio and Television. Uruguay has a mixture of privately owned and state-run broadcast media, more than 100 commercial radio stations and about 20 TV channels. Cable TV is readily available. Uruguay adopted the hybrid Japanese-Brazilian HDTV standard ISDBT in December 2010. International call sign prefixes for radio and television stations, CV and CX. Topic: Telephones. Landlines: 1,059,309 lines in use, equivalent to 0.32 lines per capita, June 2014. Mobile cellular lines, 5,358,325 lines in use, equivalent to 1.59 lines per capita June 2014. Domestic system, fully digitalized, most modern facilities concentrated in Montevideo, nationwide microwave radio relay network. Calling code 598. Submarine Cable Systems, UNISUR Submarine Cable System provides direct connectivity to Brazil and Argentina. Satellite Earth Stations, 2, Intelsat Atlantic Ocean. Topic. Internet Internet users, 1.405 million 2012. Internet hosts, 1.036 million 2009. Average connection speed Q4 2016, 8.2 megabits per second world average equals 7.0 megabits per second Top-level domain, Uyen Uruguay, one can access the Internet mainly by using FTTH services, provided by the state-owned company Antel, which covers most of Montevideo, and the rest of the 19 department's most important cities. ADSL services, provided by the state-owned company Antel. LTE 4G service with high-speed connections, about 20 megabits per second, offered by all the mobile phone companies. 3G mobile internet, offered by all the mobile phone companies. Wireless ISPs, which have a tendency to be more expensive because of high taxation and radio spectrum license costs. WiMAX launched by Dedicado in 2012. Wi-Fi access provided at shopping malls, bus lines and most of commercial business. Topic. Fiber to the home On November 2010, Antel announced that it would start rolling out Fiber to the Home in the second half of 2011. As of September 2017, 49% of the homes with Internet access do so via FTTH. As of January 2019 Antel offers the following Fiber to the Home plans. Hogar Basica, up to 60 megabits per second down and 10 megabits per second up for 1,105 Uruguayan pesos, 34 United States dollars. After 350 gigabytes of monthly data consumption speed reduced to 3 megabits per second down and 512 kilobits per second up. Hogar Plus, up to 120 megabits per second down and 12 megabits per second up for 1,470 Uruguayan pesos, 45 United States dollars. After 500 gigabytes of monthly data consumption speed reduced to 6 megabits per second down and 1 megabit per second up. Hogar Premium, up to 240 megabits per second down and 24 megabits per second up for 2,100 Uruguayan pesos, 65 United States dollars. 
after 700 gigabytes of monthly data consumption speed reduced to 12 megabits per second down and 1 megabit per second up. Entretenimiento Plus, up to 300 megabits per second down and 30 megabits per second up for 2,500 Uruguayan pesos, 77 United States dollars. After 1,000 gigabytes of monthly data consumption speed reduced to 12 megabits per second down and 1 megabit per second up, all home consumer plans provide a dynamic IP address only. There are also business plans available with no monthly data consumption limit that provide fixed IP addresses. ADSL Antel is the only ISP to provide ADSL service since it enjoys a monopoly in the basic telephony area. Other ISP use other technologies, such as radio, to get to customers. The following are the plans marketed to home users by Antel as of May 2018. All plans require having a corresponding voice phone service with Antel. All prices include VAT, consumer data plans, Internet Basica, 3072 kilobits per second down and 512 kilobits per second up for 955 Uruguayan pesos, 31 United States dollars a month. After 350 gigabits of data consumption speed reduced to 2048 kilobits per second down and 512 kilobits per second up. Internet Plus, 5,120 kilobits per second down and 512 kilobits per second up for 1,265 Uruguayan pesos, 41 United States dollars a month. After 500 gigabits of data consumption speed reduced to 2,048 kilobits per second down and 512 kilobits per second up. Internet Premium, 10,240 kilobits per second down and 512 kilobits per second up for 1,700 Uruguayan pesos, 55 United States dollars a month. After 700 gigabits of data consumption speed reduced to 8,192 kilobits per second down and 512 kilobits per second up, all consumer plans provide a dynamic IP address. Topic. Fixed wireless Most of Uruguay's landmass is too far away from cities to have wired Internet access. For customers in these rural and low-density suburban areas, fixed wireless ISPs provide a service. Wireless Internet service has also provided city Internet users with some degree of choice in a country where private companies have not been allowed to offer wired alternatives e.g. cable TV Internet, fiber to the home to the state-operated ADSL service, Dedicado is a local wireless ISP. It appeared before or about at the same time as Anteldata about in 1999, but since ADSL was not available at the same time on every neighborhood, Dedicado had the majority of the permanent internet connections. As of November 2007, ADSL is available in every neighborhood in Montevideo, and in most other cities, and Dedicado lost a big market share, both because being more expensive and giving bad service to their users. They started a big advertising campaign, but didn't pay attention to the technical details related to their number of users, so their quality of service decreased. As of 2012, their quality of service issues appear to be on the men, but their pricing issues continue especially in the rural market where they have no credible competition and have steadily increased prices. Dedicado originally operated Ericsson fixed wireless equipment and later transitioned to Motorola Canopy and Cambium technology. In 2005, they started deploying WiMAX services. However, as of May 2010, the service is not offered nor advertised yet. 
There are other wireless ISPs, but Dedicado is the main one. Telmex is another entrant in the Uruguayan fixed wireless space. As of early 2012, they were still a tentative player however, with limited coverage of the country and some technical shortcomings e.g. no Skype connectivity. In February 2012, Antel announced a push to provide fixed wireless internet service to rural customers using their 3G cellular network. As of November 2012, the service was being actively offered to customers of the company's rural cell fixed wireless telephone service. Customers who sign up get the equipment a ZTE MF612 per megafarad 32 or Huawei B663G router and monthly internet service for free. While the network and router are capable of supporting multi-megabit per second service, the free offering is throttled back to 256 kilobits down, 64 kilobits upload speeds and capped at 1 GB of monthly data transfer except for a small number of customers grandfathered from a previous service. Once that data limit is reached, the customer has to recharge the service using a prepaid card at a rate of approximately $10 per GB. There is an alternative monthly billing plan that offers 2 megabits per second down and 512 megabits per second up with a 5 GB data cap for $15, plus $10 for each additional GB up to 5 GB. There is no unlimited data plan, which limits this technology's ability to compete in the non-residential fixed wireless space against vendors like Dedicado. <laughs> Mobile wireless Internet access via cell phone networks is probably the most vibrant and competitive Internet marketplace in Uruguay. All the Uruguayan cell phone companies Antel, Claro, Movistar offer data plans for their smartphone users as well as USB modems for personal computers. In cell, Antel even offers a bundle of cellular internet access and ADSL, an unusual but potentially attractive combination for home ADSL users who also want to have internet access on the go. The speeds delivered by all companies within their areas of coverage keep getting faster, and the areas of coverage keep expanding as of 2012 and Cell probably still has the edge in percent of the country's land covered. Vendors are shifting from 3G to 4G, starting in the area around Montevideo. From a consumer's standpoint, the only discouraging trend in this market is the adoption of data volume caps by all vendors. As of August 2012, no vendor website offered an unlimited mobile internet data plan the closest was an unlimited during nights and weekends from Claro. This means these offerings are unlikely to cross-sell into the fixed wireless internet market where unlimited data plans tend to be the rule. Topic. Internet service providers. The main Internet service providers ISPs in Uruguay are Antel http colon slash slash Claro http colon slash slash Dedicado http colon slash slash Movie Star HTTP colon slash slash www.moviestar.com UY Topic Cable Internet Despite a fully developed cable network in all mid and large size cities, there is no internet access through cable TV systems in Uruguay as it has been steadfastly opposed by government regulators. Cuba is the only other country in the Americas missing this component of the internet access ecosystem. Topic: 
Internet censorship and surveillance There are no government restrictions on access to or usage of the Internet or credible reports that the government monitors email or Internet chat rooms without judicial oversight. Uruguayan law provides for freedom of speech and press, and the government generally respects these rights in practice. An independent press, an effective judiciary, and a functioning democratic political system combine to ensure these rights. The law also prohibits arbitrary interference with privacy, family, home, or correspondence, and the government generally respects these prohibitions in practice. In August 2016, the president of URSEC, the Uruguayan government agency equivalent to the FCC in the US, stated that his agency was at the government's beck and call to block the IP address of the servers of Uber to keep its app from operating in Uruguay. If carried out this would constitute the first and only known instance of Great Firewall-style blocked IP censorship in Uruguay. In the same interview he stated that WhatsApp "...transgresses the limits of communications." In July 2017 the Uruguayan Subsecretary of Economy stated that the government was considering "...blocking the signals." of online gaming sites, which in Internet terms would seem to refer to some kind of IP-based censorship. In April 2018 a Uruguayan court ordered all Uruguayan ISPs to block their users from accessing the content of specific sites broadcasting sports events copyrighted by Fox Sports Latin America. This is a key precedent that differs dramatically from the piracy enforcement in first world countries like the US, which focuses on the takedown of the sites themselves and does not engage in IP-based censorship. A Fox spokesman declared the network would try to use the precedent to get similar rulings in other Latin American countries. In November 2016, the Uruguayan Ministry of the Interior initiated legal action against a Facebook and Twitter site. Coros underscore UY, that reports criminal activity across Uruguay, alleging that it raises public alarm. The Inter American Press Society swiftly criticized the ministry's attempt to censor the site as contrary to democracy's norms. As of 2017, a surveillance software suite, called Guardian, Capable of spying internet traffic, email accounts, social networks and telephone calls as being used without proper authorization from the judiciary. 